And while some Erie County employees could soon see extra dollars in their paycheck. The county council approved a resolution along party lines to pay county employees hundreds of dollars to get vaccinated. The incentive receiving a little pushback and criticism. Chelsea Swift now with more about the resolution. Chelsea. Jill and Sean, although the resolution was approved by a four to three vote, some Erie County residents will voice their concerns during a county council meeting this evening. Erie County employees who receive a COVID vaccine before the end of the year can apply to receive $300. This incentive is being funded by federal tax dollars. It's not county taxpayer dollars. It's not coming out of our general fund. It's coming from that uh, money that really is out there for these specific purposes. And one is to try to get more people vaccinated and, and keep our community safer. Roughly $360,000 will be allocated from a $26 million COVID relief plan. Dahl Kemper says Erie County employees are self-insured, meaning their hospital bills are paid by taxpayer money. It costs our insurance uh, a lot of money. And again, we are self-insured. So by getting more of our employees vaccinated, we believe will actually save the county taxpayers uh, a lot of money. One member of Erie County Council says despite this incentive already being passed, he believes this money is better spent on all residents in Erie County. This money is set aside for all of us in Erie County, not just Erie County employees. You know, I'm not picking on the Erie County employees. We appreciate everything they do, the men and women that came to work uh, through the pandemic. We appreciate that. Shank says instead of incentivizing county employees to receive a vaccine, these funds should be used to help small business owners who struggled during the pandemic. We lost 30% of our small businesses that will probably never come back. Those are the men and women who need and deserve that money. They put their blood, sweat, and tears into, a, into their businesses. We asked the question why the county doesn't mandate the vaccination and save tax dollars. The county executive's response was it would be difficult to negotiate with multiple unions in the county. Jill? Okay, we'll see what they have to say tonight. Chelsea Swift, thank you.